what you said, that Putin can't remain in power. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Or do you now regret saying that because your government has been trying to walk that back? Did your words complicate matters? Well, you asked three different questions. I'll answer them all. Number one, I'm not walking anything back. The fact of the matter is I was expressing the more outrage I felt toward the way Putin is dealing and the actions of this man. I mean, I just come from being with those families. And, uh, and so, uh, but I want to make it clear. I wasn't then, nor am I now, articulating a policy change. I was expressing the moral outrage that I feel, and I make no apologies for it. Personal feelings, sir. Personal, Your personal feelings? My, my personal feelings. President, thank you. When you say that you're not walking anything back, you do feel that Vladimir Putin should be remained from, removed from power? Is that what you're saying? And no, what I was, I was expressing just what I said. I was expressing the moral outrage I felt towards this man. I wasn't articulating a policy change. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, if he continues on this course that he's on, he is going to become a pariah worldwide. And who knows what he come, becomes at home in terms of support. And just to follow up, are you concerned this remark might escalate the conflict? No, I'm not. I'm not at all. What? You know, uh, that other governments have suggested that this is a problem, I'm escalating things. Uh, no. And has it weakened NATO? No, it hadn't. NATO has never, ever, 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 ever been as strong as it is today. Never. So if saying he cannot remain in power does not mean regime what does it mean? It means that I would hope, he, I just it was expressing my outrage. He shouldn't remain in power. Just like, you know, bad people shouldn't continue to do bad things. But it doesn't mean we have a fundamental policy to do anything to take Putin down in any way.